Dr. Thomas, if I could come to you, sir, what do you think, sir, is the significance uh, of uh, this moon mission, India's lunar exploration? What does this mean, not just for India, sir, but when we speak globally, uh, when we speak about lunar exploration, sir? Is this for me, ma'am? I just yes, wanted Dr. to be Thomas. sure. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to tell you, uh, I'm where the whole world is excited about India uh, going to the moon here, to the to beating the first country to the south uh, part of the moon, where of course all the resources are. That's where we want to go with humans. And uh, I want to tell you, I work personally with uh, India on many missions, including the NICER mission, and I was lucky enough to see Chandrayaan three in the lab just before it started to get tested last year so i just want to tell you the whole world is in awe with uh, the enormous progress that india has made and and uh you know working with nasa for the last uh, six seven years uh, it's just absolutely incredible what has happened and i'm so proud of india to you know make this attempt today i will be watching well, absolutely. And so what would you say, you know, when we speak of uh, lunar exploration, when we speak of, you know, uh, the search uh, the world is doing as far as, you know, the moon's surface is concerned, what do you think the success of this mission can contribute to the same, sir? I believe uh, how, as we go forward, kind of exploration of the moon and uh, both human exploration, but also robotic exploration is truly an international uh, activity. And uh, India on the surface of the moon really demonstrates that like almost nothing else. India being the most populous uh, country on Earth uh, with so many of the leaders uh, worldwide, uh, some of them that have left India and so many uh, with uh, the chairman of Israel, uh, someone out there in India and uh, with the entrepreneurial company demonstrating their presence. I think it just really shows how the world is coming together to do something absolutely incredible. And India uh, there, I think, would mean everything to, uh, to the world, kind of the world that wants to explore nature, wants to explore uh, the moon uh, together as a, as a planet, but also peacefully. Well, absolutely. And, you know, so you yourself are emphasizing on how it's history in the making, literally. Would you say it's also very significant? It's also all the more historic, given the costing, really, of the entire project? Because India, if successful, will be able to show the world that, you know, we can reach the moon at such a low cost, something which has not happened before, sir. Yeah, I, I believe that's one of the most uh, amazing things, right? Kind of the way India does their work. Uh, is really impressive uh, to many. Uh, having worked on many NASA missions, I often was quite envious about uh, how India can do that. That, of course, has to do with the enormously dedicated workforce and also just with the smarts and innovative spirit that India brings to work every each and every day. And I have observed that in many missions. And, and so, yes, I think it demonstrates a different way of doing work. That is exactly why international contributions are so important. It's not because people do the same. It's be because people do it differently, bringing their own spirit, their own ways of doing things to work. The world is better when we work together. Well, absolutely. The world is better when we work together. That's a big message you're giving, sir. But, you know, when we speak of lunar exploration, when we speak really of today's mission, you said you've also worked with India and ISRO before. What was your experience like? What are your expectations? How optimistic are you, sir, personally? I personally am very optimistic based on what I saw. I just really felt that uh, uh, what happens in this business is uh, even the most successful organizations every once in a while have a misstep. And the most important part is, are we learning from that misstep? Uh, every ex every experience I've had with uh, India all the way uh, to the top of Israel and with the people that I worked is that uh, all the lessons were learned. So, uh, of course, we all recognize this is very difficult. Uh, it, it is uh, many, many things have to work, but uh, I, I will bet for India today. Absolutely.